Hi everyone. So I welcome you to the PYQ discussion of the last five years for the INICT exam. Now INICT is a very focused exam. Every year I see in INICT exam they ask us certain topics and the exam rotates in those topics actually. And if somebody is thorough with those PYQ topics has an extra edge. So that is why we have started this course called as INICT PYQ ka baat. Now if I was you know if I had one month to prepare for INICT. These are the four pillars that I would do. I would definitely do the INICT TND. INICT TND will give me the edge because it will give me the all the high yield topics, all the subject wise tests and discussions which are only focused towards the INICT exam. A lot of students have asked me, hey, sir, what about NEET PG TND? So when we do the NEET PG TND, we try to target both INI exam as well as NEET PG exam. While in INI CT, we only target the INI focused topics. So that is why it is very high yield for central exams. Second thing I would recommend strongly is go ahead and do the AIMS capsule. AIMS capsule is a, you know, a very classic dams resource where every year we keep adding material which is useful for central exams. And it is we have tried to include the topics which are unique like graphical questions on physiology or general pharmacology based questions in pharma which are very unique to the central institutes which are very uniquely created by institutes like JIPMER and if you go through games, AIMS capsule it gives you that extra edge on those unique topics. Third thing definitely we are going to do the PYQs. PYQs of last five years should be done thoroughly and we'll do it together in this session we'll do the radiology with you and but this, this is something we need to do and also we need to be at the top of our game. So if you are seriously targeting the INI exam, you should be doing a weekly grand test. Every week when you write a grand test, you are trying to tell yourself that I am going to win this game. I need to win it big. Exams like INI CT, you need to be aggressive in the paper. You need to put all you have into the paper because you want a big prize. You want to get into a place like Ames to do your post graduation. You need to hit it big. And in addition to all this, if in addition to all this, if I want to add more substance to it, I will try to do the INICT mocks, which are already there in your eMedicos app. So you will be giving INICT centric mock test, INICT centric PYQs, okay, AIMS capsule, INICT TND. This is what is important. The important thing is focused approach. INICT exam requires focus. So if you have a focused approach in the final month, you have a very good chance of doing very well in this exam. And above all, above all, don't forget, you know, you these are the resources that you should be using, but don't forget the mindset. Now, what is the mindset that is required? Now, the most important question that I've been getting for the last year, month or so is, hey, sir, my rank is here, my score is here, I can do Am I good enough to get into central exams or not? Mujhe ye lagta hai, and this is something I want all of you to remember is that any result that has happened for you is an event. Jo bhi result aapka hai, wo ek event tha. It is not a judgment on your future. So you can always tell yourself ki wo main nahi like I know this girl who ha was not qualified in NEET. I think a few years back, the interview is there on the NAMS YouTube channel. She was not qualified. Then she told herself ki ye main nahi and she said ye mera result hai nahi, ye main hui nahi. I have much more ability than this numbers what these numbers are reflecting and she ended up getting into top 15 aims in the May exam and she gave her interview to me and when she was giving her interview she was very emotional. She said ki sir I wanted to make this interview happen. I made myself I told myself ki this result is not me. Similarly we had this boy who had a rank of 1,64,000 in the last year's NEET PG exam, worked very hard, followed everything that the teachers told him. Everything that teachers told him he followed and this year he is at rank 411. I am sure you have seen his interview on the DAMS YouTube channel a few days back. You need to find positive inspiration. You need to tell yourself that numbers that have happened so far in your life do not define you. Agar mera NEET PG achha nahi hua tha, उससे ये कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा कि फ्यूचर में क्या होगा फ्यूचर में क्या होगा उस पे बेस्ड है कि मैं इस महीने में क्या करूंगा एंड द ओनली थिंग दैट द आईएनआईसीटी एग्जाम नीड्स इज फोकस फोकस्ड अप्रोच दे लाइक टू रिपीट अ सर्टेन टॉपिक्स 
So if I'm working on a focused manner, I'll give an example. Like in anatomy, they like to ask dissection based image questions. In a medicine surgery, they like to ask emergencies, basic surgical procedures. They like to ask uh, general pharmacological questions. They like to ask some graph based cardiac cycle, respiratory cycle questions from physiology. They like to ask uh, you know, questions based on monoclonal antibodies. Sometimes they go deep into genetics. They definitely like to ask neurosciences. So psychiatry plus pharmacology is a very important theme in the INI exam. So when you use these resources, these are totally synthesized for your INI exam. And we are also going to do a INI CT PYQ kebab where we'll be covering the common common questions from INI CT from the last five years so that if you follow those, you don't need to do PYQ yourselves. The teachers will do it for you. I wish you all the best.